I've been writing since I was maybe, I don't know, seven, eight years old. The funniest part of that is that my first bicycle was too big for me. I'm David Falk. I'm a French bicycle builder for tall people. Basically, our clients are anyone taller than 6'4", I would say, 6'4", and up to 7'7". The idea of the 36er started when I actually broke my ankle. It was a, a regular wheel-sized bike that I was riding to the limits, and I broke my ankle, and uh, I... At that point, I decided to uh, design my own bicycle. I learned how to build bicycles by building bicycles. And I learned how to dial the geometry for those big bikes by having a lot of help from uh, my friends, uh, bicycle designer and bicycle engineers. I decided to take the problem at the very beginning, which is the wheel. Instead of using the regular wheel size, I decided to use those big uh, 36 inch wheels. There is a right wheel size for every uh, rider's height and occasion. At 6'6", myself, I'm not a regular rider and all of my friends and clients and test riders are all in between 6'10 and 7'2". Using those regular wheel size, even if you build a custom frame that is going to be taller and longer than the usual to adapt to uh, someone that is 6'10 or 7 feet, you still run into the problems of some um, geometry, having the wheelbase being so short and having those smaller wheels compared to the, the size of the rider, your center of gravity is going to sit pretty high and pretty over the rear wheel. So it's going to be uh, pretty unstable when you ride fast or hard or if you try to climb. So that's one of the problems we wanted to address with the 36er, is having a bigger wheel size, a longer wheelbase, and then center the rider in the middle of those two wheels. It's not only scaling up uh, all of the dimensions of the bike to have something that is proportionate to the taller rider, it's also having all of the components being way more sturdy or stronger. So we use oversized tubing everywhere. We use oversized uh, rollers. We use 36 or 48 spokes, so the bigger the number of spokes, the safer and the more durable your wheel is going to be, specifically when you're 300 or 360 pounds. You don't want to be on 32 spokes wheels because they're going to be too weak and they're not going to be durable. We're using uh, longer cranks because longer legs, so you're not like a hamster spinning in your wheel. We're using uh, the widest possible hubs. So the wider the hub, the better the triangulation is going to be for your wheel. Axles or pedals or like a lot of little parts that uh, you would think that will be okay for a regular bike is not strong enough. So this bike is uh, the first prototype that we built for a rider that is in between 6, 10 and 7 feet. We did a lot of testing, a lot of 6 foot 10 test riders racing at the Sea Otter. The Sea Otter Classic race that I did was a 17 mile race with about 2,000 feet of elevation gain. And uh, on any type of terrain, whether it was those big open fire roads or tight technical single track, the Dirty Sixer just ate it up. It allowed me to just unlock the power, I'd say, and lay down the performance that a normal sized bike just doesn't allow me to. People are just like totally freaked out. Usually it's, what is that? Or that's insane. Or I don't know, parents are just grabbing their kids because they're afraid I'm gonna roll them over. 
And then when they get close to you and they realize you're 6'10", 7 feet, they're like, okay, I get it. Mm -hmm.